Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 29th, 2024. My dad always said that there are two things that suck about getting old. Memory loss, and he forgot what the other thing was. And that's a terrible joke, especially since we're talking about Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is a disease that changes the entire brain, causing cell and nerve deaths all along the way, impacting every single function. Early stages of Alzheimer's usually means plaque and tangles growing inside of the learning and memory areas of the brain, affecting thinking and planning. But then it keeps spreading. The earlier you can detect it, the sooner you can slow it down. Remember that joke from earlier? If not, you may benefit from one of the soon-to-be-available tests for Alzheimer's. Currently, if you want to know if you are in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease, you have to go and get expensive and arduous spinal tap tests and brain scans to determine if you actually have the disease, which is good luck getting those approved by insurance without major symptoms. With this new generation of blood tests, however, it will be cheaper and faster than those other methods, and that will give more people earlier access to knowing if they have Alzheimer's disease and then be able to start treatment sooner. Huzzah! Science is great. Speaking of thinking, what's better than a machine thinking faster, unless it's a Terminator? Computers may be getting a great big upgrade here really soon. MIT created a new ultra-thin material back in 2021. They've continued testing it and are now confident that they have a new nanoscale transistor that's super durable as well and can survive use well beyond modern materials. They use a ferroelectric material, which is where positive and negative charges exist in separate layers, and then they can apply an electrical charge, and it flips, switching that charge to the top or the bottom. This allows them to store data on a material even after a hundred billion switches like this, showing zero signs of degradation, making it far, far superior to any modern material for storing data that shows degradation even after the first use. Unfortunately, the way of making this material is not capable at scale just yet, and along with a few other problems means it's not ready for prime time or mass protection. So, maybe in 10 to 20 years. And last but not least, science has identified the neurons responsible for creating that sensation of bonding and safety when baby mice are near their mother. These neurons found in the zona incerta uh, just below the thalamus produce a chemical called somatostatin which is involved heavily in regulating hormones in the body. They think this is the key, those neurons and this chemical, to having that bond. Interestingly, only mice, as soon as mice hit adulthood, the same neurons can be activated, but instead of calming, they produce stress and anxiety, making scientists think these neurons change in pattern or integration in the brain over time. See you next time.